from the soul with it. What's going on everybody, The Oliver TV back with another video and I would like to speak with you guys about Zach Novo Jr. and why I think the Lakers must keep or should consider keeping Zach Novo Jr. But before we get into the video, y'all make sure y'all click that subscribe button and be sure to hit that notification bell. But we have to talk about Zach Novo, you guys. Now, forget last night. I watched Zach Novo play in the very first game of the preseason versus the Golden State Warriors. And I just thought that this guy really had great potential. And the first thing I said when I seen this guy play, I said, who, who is this man, bruh? Coming off screens, catching and shooting. Left-handed guy who can knock down threes. And as Jerry West explained in an interview that the three-point shot is extremely vital in today's game. So with the Lakers, you may need some additional three-point shot makers on that roster in the long run. Zach Novo can create off the dribble. Watching the highlights last night, I got to see in full detail how he was moving without the ball, creating space against defenders to get a shot off, great ball handling skills, nice crossovers. And, bruh, <laughs> bruh, that crossover move, bruh, versus Jordan Poole, bruh, was just disgusting, bruh. I mean, straight disgusting, bruh, just nasty. I mean, it's like this man took his palm and just snatched Jordan Poole's soul, bruh. I mean, legend has it that Jordan Poole's ankles are still chilling on the hardwood right now as we speak, bruh. And not to mention he made the shot to be able to get the and one. And what's more important, he sealed that moment by making the free throw. But Zach would be great coming off the bench for the Lakers, you know, and being put into the rotation. And sometimes, in my opinion, it's not just about can you score the ball? Because a lot of players can do that. A lot of players can score the ball and a lot of players miss the ball. But it's also about politics, which is if you have the popularity plus the overall total package, you can find a home in the NBA. And as long as it's nothing that can hurt the franchise's credibility, Zach Novel, for one, has the name, the look, Great jersey number, the charisma, he got the height, he's 6'5", and he's from Chirac, just like Anthony Davis, the home of Chief Keith. Oh, blah, bang, bang. So we got to keep in mind that Chirac, Chicago, is the home of gangbanging. So we know that Zach Noble has the heart. So they would definitely have that bond and that connection with one another. Last night versus the Golden State Warriors, Zach Noble put on a stellar performance, a stellar performance, scoring 22 points. Four rebounds and one assist. But in the first half, I watched how Zach Novo drove to the lane and did a spin move and got the layup. I was really impressed. You know, but I'm a huge fan of shooters. You know, that's just my personal preference. So I really think the Lakers should consider keeping Zach Novo. Another reason why is because we have a lot of veterans on this roster. And I think that the Lakers also need some youth with fresh legs to go along with these veterans to keep them healthy. But what we do have to keep in mind is that Zach Norville was red-shirted in college, so him getting injured is a possibility. Cal Kuzma, Avery Bradley are young, but they're coming off an injury. So, you know, Kuzma can shoot, Troy Daniels can shoot, I mean, even Jared Dudley is a solid shooter. So I think if you keep Zach Norville and put him in that rotation, he may, you know, he may not get much playing time. But I think if you was to keep him in that rotation, then you add like an Andre Iguodala in that mix. And we stay healthy, bro. We could be a contender, bro. We could be a contender, bro. Zach Novo has an amazing college background, averaging 15 points per game in his second year of Gonzaga. Also coming out as a breakout star of the NCAA tournament, averaging 21 points per game. Almost four rebounds and two assists per game. And then in his sophomore year, he was named John R. Wooden Award and the Jerry West watch list. So, yes, I do think the Lakers should consider signing Zach Novo in the long term, in my opinion. But if push comes to shove, they could always go back to the G League to pick up Zach Novo as a backup plan. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all get in that comment box, like, share, subscribe. I'm out.